Axiom Arc 2, Scorch and Mage Conference, guys. Oh boy, it is the new patch, guys. You know what day it is. We're gonna play some mages. Because mages are absolutely, probably, busted on the new patch. But what is this random Ezreal? Can someone please explain? Daniel's video gaming? What is this random Ezreal? What am I gonna do with that? Oh man, we, we can't. We can't. We have to waste so much money. It's not worth. Nah, nah, nah. It's not worth, guys. We have to level up instead. I want to keep the triple astral. Because it gives me the astral shops. But triple mage... Ah, astral got buffed as well, guys. Remember, 10 ability power for everybody. We have to think about these items, though. QSS. We need a shojin first and foremost. Nami got a huge buff, guys. Astral got a huge buff. Um... What else? Vladimir got another huge buff, or a decent buff, right? Less max mana. What else happened? Zoe got the insane buff, 120 mana to 100 mana only. She's gonna be spamming those ults like crazy now. So I think mages are gonna be the premier choice this patch, and we have mage conference, guys. That is, it's a no-brainer. It's a no-brainer, guys. Gotta go for that. Now, last game, the pr the first game that I played on this new patch, I tried Shimmer Scale after they got nerfed. It is what it is. You know me, guys. I'm silly. Okay, so, how do we do this one now? We can sell her. We can put her. Yes. And then we can... Do, 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 put him. Double Bruiser. There we go. That's good. Good start. Very solid start to the game. Very solid start, we don't even need this guy. Extremely solid start, guys, to be honest. Give her the tier, because she's gonna have that anyway. And then we go QSS on Varus. Uh, no, 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 we're not gonna go Varus, right? Each conference. You know what, though? That's the interesting thing now. If you see that you, we don't get any AP items and stuff, because QSS is clearly not an AP item, guys. We can just ditch the mages. <laughs> and we can just use this as economy. And we just get free money every turn. We sell the mages instantly. And then we will have some crazy Varus uh, full astral, you know. Who, who knows? Who knows? Everything can work here. Everything can be sick here. This is not bad. This is not bad at all. Ooh. Also, Lilia got a huge buff, guys. Huge buff all across the board. More damage. Um, less attack damage, more AP, more damage, stuff like that. More attack speed, so she casts a little bit more often. I definitely want to level up here, because I'm pretty sure... No, 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 we don't want to level up. We play this like Yordles. We go... We Econ now, until 5. Until we're right about to hit 5, and then we roll it down. We get a bunch of the 1-cost mages out of the way, and then we'll get the remaining ones, you know, for free. The one and two costs out of the way, and then we get the remaining ones. Now, keep in mind, though, this is going to be a patch just like at the start. At least that's what I think, but it's not black and white yet. Like, it's not really that easy to tell yet, because it just came out. And um, But Nami has a 75 mana requirement now for her ult, and she used to have an 80 mana requirement when she was broken. Then they nerfed it to 100 or 90. They nerfed it to 90. So it's technically better than it used to be. But I think they changed something with mages and how much mana they generate while they're casting spells. I think now while they're in the animation, they can't generate further mana or something like that while they're getting attacked and stuff. So that is the thing. That, that is the issue that made mages very, very, very bad on the previous patch. Is there a sword? Wow, that's so unlucky. But we get a mage emblem. Hey, <laughs> boy. Okay. Okay, big, 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 big. Not bad, guys. Not bad. Let's get this now. Numzi is stronger now, finally. Have you tried her, though? Because the, the numbers don't seem that insane for Numzi. No cap. Blue battery changes can kind of anti-fun. Yeah. I get what you mean. So, for the people who don't know... Um, we could level up and put the Lilia. That would be pretty wild. 
That would be pretty wild. We could go for a QSS Lilia. We could go Lilia carry. I'm not opposed to that. Lilia got a huge buff. Ah, but I would rather collect Econ, right? I would much rather collect Econ. Just chill, guys. Just chill. Collect Econ. Uh, but yeah, for the people who don't know what happened with Blue Battery, now it doesn't stack with Blue Buff anymore. So, for people like Ezreal and Karma, it's a huge nerf. But it's only a nerf if you got exactly these two conditions, so... I think it's it's a good change, because it, it was a little bit too... Like, it was a thing that happened very rarely, but then it was really strong. So they couldn't buff the champions, like Ezreal and Karma. Uh, or they couldn't change them. Uh, because of that one interaction. But now they will be able to do that, so I think it's good. I'm just saying what Mortok said, and I think I, like I agree with. It. I think it's pretty good. Alright, so we're chilling. We're playing Yordles. Keep in mind, guys, we're playing Yordles, so we are completely fine here. Actually, we don't want this guy, right? Uh, we do not want this guy. So we got a Mage Emblem, so we'll go Mages anyway. Let's just chill, guys. Let's just chill. We're getting a lot of Lilias. Extremely good. Let's just chill like this. <clears throat> and then as I said, we roll down. Just like a normal uh just like a normal Yordle setup would play in set 6.5 and set 6. Get those one costs first to three stars and then proceed with the leveling, otherwise you will get mage locked. Okay, we're good guys. This should be really fun. This should be really fun. I'm Platinum 1 and I see Varus and Astral Mages on 4 out of pl 8 players every game. Yeah, true probably. We'll see if this patch is good. I'm happy it at least shakes it up, you know? Like the... The Dragon meta was getting a little bit stale. It was fun at first, but... Everything that stays for too long gets stale, you know? So we'll see if Mages are ridiculously OP. I'm not sure. Yeah, that's big, that's big. Um, we can put her now. There we go. It's not bad. Let's see what items we get. So, we want a tier for this to become a Mage Emblem and bounce off of him. And then we can put it on Eloi, probably. And we want a sword for her to get the Shujin. I think uh, Ma Nami carry is gonna be... Like, Nami carry and... Or just the Shujin on Nami is good enough. The Gargos is really good. Wow. I just go for it. It's gonna help me win streak a lot. Really good. This is gonna help us win streak now. Really good. It's not as exciting as making the giving all the items to Lilia, but we'll, we'll find some items for her, don't worry. We'll find some items. A QSS is good. Um, Gunblade is good. A blue buff is good. Any of these are good. Shojin is good too. They raise the attack speed. But you probably don't even need mana generation. Let's see if anyone else is going for the extremely strong mages. He's going Varus. Yeah, another Astral Mage player, but I have the Mage Conference. So whoever is contesting me here is a little bit uh, interesting, let's just say that. Because I I wouldn't contest someone with a mage conference, because that guy... Like, imagine playing Yordles against someone that's playing Yordles, but you don't get free Yordles every turn. Uh, that, that, that is a little bit, um, you know, that is a little bit... Let's just say brain dead, guys. It's a little bit brain dead. What's up, Rella? Okay. Mm we're doing well here. Keep collecting more Econ. Let's see if we get another Mage Emblem. Uh, yeah, Mage Emblem or... What else could we get, man? Trade Sector Plus. Isn't it too late for Trade Sector, though? Trade Sector is still really good, though. <laughs> it's gonna make me three-star my Mages so quickly. Yeah, I, I, usually I never take Trade Sector as a second, but bro. 
<laughs> We're gonna get a three star Zoe potential here. That is pretty crazy. You know? I think I'm gonna roll a little bit here. We don't need to roll too much. But for sure we can go for a little bit here. There we go. It's good enough. We to get that fifth mage in. Or get a tier to get that mage emblem, right? So again, I feel like Nami is... Like, she got a huge buff, but I don't think she's gonna be that super broken unit. I think she is gonna be super strong. Not as strong as at the first patch, because Riot is not dumb. Again, I would jump to conclusions yet. I don't think Riot is gonna make her even more broken than first patch of the release here, where everyone, where four people were playing Nami, and all four were hitting top four. And you were playing anything else, you were high rolling, doesn't matter. Nami 3-star would just bop you. Even You would even lose to Nami 2-star sometimes. Absolutely crazy. So I, I don't think um, they wouldn't test enough. Even had Sunfire board and we're still uh, winning here. Not bad. Okay. There we go. We get the Nami 2-star. That's a big. It's a huge upgrade. There's another Nami. Another Nami, another Eloy, not bad, not bad. Let's see if we can get that Eloy 2-star. She's gonna get the mage uh, thingy. Okay, no mages. No rise yet. That's okay. We'll put the Heimerdinger as a fifth mage. Mm, if I got Lulu early, I could have played double Mystic, right? Mystic didn't get nerfed, but Shioyu got nerfed. Shioyu got a huge nerf. Deserved though. <laughs> Super OP. Siphon, not the biggest nerf. I feel like Siphon can still perform really, really well, even against mages. Should be fine. And if the if the meta is full mages, despite the Shioyu nerf, I think Shioyu is still gonna be really strong because it's just an easy matchup. Swain got nerfed as well. <laughs> is it enough? His base attacks we got nerfed. Look how many stacks he has on the thing. You can see the stacks now on these items. Hey, we still won. You see, he had like 70 stacks on the Ginsu's, man. That was crazy. Okay, so here we're looking for a tier. There's one tier. But the mages love the tiers. This would also be interesting. Are we gonna get the tier? He's going for it. No, he's not. Nice. We got the tier. Okay. We get the mage Eloy. Oh, yeah. Huge, guys. Huge. Um, nine mages would be really cool to get. Okay. So, see, we're already mage locked, basically. Um, you can have this. There we go. We might have to level here. Okay. That's big, actually. I think we should just roll down now, right? Oh, there's a rise. We are mage locked, guys. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, no, 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 no. I leveled up and it still didn't put him. Yikes, bro. It didn't put him. I leveled up a little bit too late. Ah, locking takes so much tempo out of the game, though. But it is a Nami, bro. We have to lock it. Ah, that is cringe. That is so sad, man. I did it too late. Uh, we're still fine, though. We're still in a really good spot. I think I win this. Ooh, he did right. Uh, he did just enough damage. I have to lock it though because Nami is contested as well. Wonderful. I'm sorry, Rice. Okay, we need to keep rolling now. We need to hit something. Yes! Okay, big, 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 big. Okay, now the question is can we econ? Can we econ here, guys? Can we Econ? 
Are we strong enough to econ? That's the question. Also, you get more AP from Astral. Astral got a huge buff. You can see the little Astral icon here. Uh, it got completely changed. You can't just cheese Astral anymore and just put... Uh, just keep three Astral on your bench and then just put them in while you're rolling down and then take them out again when it's combat. It only counts how many... How many Astral, how much Astral did you have in the on the board during the last combat, guys? So I have three during the last combat, so I will have the bronze level Astral shop, which means I get the weakest Astral uh, gem and stuff like that, right? Or Astral orb, excuse me. All right, we're in a good spot, guys. I think we can Econ. The thing is, we had to hit the Heimerdinger and the Vlad, right? That is the big issue. Because you don't want to receive too many free Heimerdingers. You want to go on to the Lilia and the three stars fast. So maybe we just... Ooh, nice. Maybe we just... Um... I think we Econ and we roll for Lilia at six, right? Let's see if we get some Lilia items. Because now we have good items on everybody else. Now everything else can go on Lilia. Again, she received a huge buff. Um, a Thieves' Glove. Who can get the Thieves' Glove? Vlad received the buff. Is he gonna work well with a Thieves' Glove? I mean, I, I can't think of anyone else that needs attack damage. I feel like we should just put Thieves' Glove on Lilia, man. It is what it is, guys. It's very sad, but it is what it is. Mm, are we gonna get a Vladimir here? Mm, that is smelly, guys. I have to chill. I'm not gonna lock the shop for this girl. We should put Thieves on... Um, what's up, Doiks? We should put Thieves on Lilia, to be honest. Because she's gonna work kind of okay with attack damage items. Meanwhile, Vladimir is gonna do nothing. She's gonna work well with tank items. It depends. Let's see what else we get, man. Maybe we'll get QSS. But... Dragon Claw is... Not Dragon Claw, uh, Banshee's Claw is... Mm, it's okay. We need some heal reduction, right? That's what we're lacking here. Look at this. Look at this guy. Wow. Okay, it's very sad for the Zilawi, but it is what it is. Mage Crest. Wow, bro. No way. No shot. No shot, guys. That is crazy. Who do we turn into a mage? We're gonna go nine mages this game. Who are we gonna turn into a mage? Lulu, but that's kind of weird. Um, Siphon. Mage Siphon would be sick. Double dash. Um, mage Bard is always good. Mage Hecarim is not bad at all. It's very good. He got buffed as well. Could go Mage Hecarim very easily here. Um, yeah, Mage Hecarim. Mage Hecarim until we find maybe Siphon. But I don't think we have room. If we want to go nine mages, we can't. We don't have room for. Um, we don't have room for the other mage guy, right? For Siphon Mage. We would need 10 slots. Yeah, Mage Hecarim, guys. Mage Hecarim. Seems pretty good here. He's gonna double fear people. And he got buffed. This guy is very similar to me though. Does he have seven mages already in? I think he does. Yeah, he's level seven. Already seven mages, huh? Does he though? Okay, so the question is, do we level up or do we just roll down? I think we roll down for uh, Lilia, right? Try to hit Lilia as fast as possible. We need to hit all three-star mages. So it's not going to be easy, to be honest. Um, I think we ditched the Eloy. She's just going to be a two-star, I think. The entire game. We would just get uh, locked... We need to put that. I feel like Sejuani Mage, while not being that good. This champion got nerfed pretty big time, but still seems pretty dumb. 
Tantrum. Right, this is where we get a little bit weaker. Sejuani Mage might be okay as well. Not because of the mage interaction, but more guild, more AP for all the mages. We don't have the best items, guys. We have to go uh, Armor and Thieves' Glove. Have to go Sunfire and Thieves' Glove. Lots of healing on everybody. Let's see if I can get Armor. I should be able to. Unless they both take Armor. Okay, he took it. We get the one cost armor. Uh, the Heimer, if he combines, it's GG. Oh! Wait, I had time to sell it? Wait, that was crazy, no? That was insane. Okay, we gotta go Thieves' Glove on this girl because it doesn't make sense on anybody else. Um, is it time to level? Ooh, there's the Hecarim. There we go. Seven mages, Mage Hecarim. Let's see if he does anything. Dragomancer Yasu. Come on, come on, Hecarim. Ult twice. It's, it's kind of cool. It's a lot of CC that we were lacking. Makes the makes the Lilia stronger as well. Gives her double Cavalier. Gives us more frontline. Nothing not to like, I think. We get some good items on him. Again, he got buffed, as I said. We get some good items on him. Could be fine. We need one more Heimer. Wait, how did I have time to sell the Heimer, though? Isn't that crazy? <laughs> how many Heimer dongers I have? We need to sell this Eloy, I think. Yeah, yeah. Sell, this, sell the Eloy. We're not gonna three-star her. <sighs> oh, yeah, come on. Rise? It's the wrong knot. It's the wrong guy. I think we have to sell the rise, right? For now. Because the Lilia is more important. She's gonna turn into a three star. Okay, just chill here. We need to go level nine to hit nine mages. That's the issue as well. It's gonna be rough. But if we can do it, it's GG. The question is, where is it the best to roll down? Because we're trying to get the last Lilia. Yeah, we just roll down at 7. We, we roll down now. Because we're not gonna get... Yeah, yeah we need to stabilize with 3 stars and get really strong. And start farming that Zoe. Those... Uh, as soon as we get a 2 star Zoe, she received a huge buff, guys. Um, then we're good. And we need a Shojin for Zoe here. Perfect. Alright, big. Now, I mean, we might get her. <laughs> I think we have to roll, right? We're not gonna level. Getting more room for more mages doesn't really matter, right? Yeah. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we have to roll. There's this guy. I'm pretty sure we have to roll, guys. We have to stabilize first. We don't he need to hit uh, Zoe. We need to hit the remaining mages. And then we will get everything else naturally. And we need this two-star... Um, this two-star idiot here, Hecarim. To make sure I'm not missing any mages. Maybe it's gonna be too hard to hit the three stars at this point. Maybe there's not enough of them. Ooh. The Aurelian Soul. Mage Aurelian Soul. I mean, that has to be the play, right? That has to be the play, I think. Major Aurelian's soul. This guy's a two-star already. 
Yeah, I guess Major Aurelian Soul is the play, huh? Instead of Hecarim. But we would need to level up. Hmm. Now I do regret not leveling up. I forgot the Aurelian Soul, man. But we are getting close to the three stars. The thing is, Rise is very contested, so I think it's gonna be too rough to hit the Rise. I am pretty strong though, right? I think we gotta go for the Aurelian Soul with a, with a Hodge as well. It's a little bit too strong. Yeah, we have got to do it. That's too good. And Aurelian Soul received a huge rework, guys. It's not even close to what he was. He doesn't actually get bigger and bigger stars now. He just gets a big star. And it actually increases the amount of damage dealt to the enemy champions that get hit by it by 20% for 10 seconds. It's really strong. And then on top of that, if he survives for 20 seconds, like the last 10 seconds of combat, which as you can see is kind of viable, then it's the full board. Then the star gets bigger. And then it's the full board and it deals more damage and just blows out everybody. I think we, we gotta go for the Aurelian Soul here. Nine mages would be cool though. But we would have to go level nine. We can still swap into that though. Ah, bro. Ah, nine mages is too good. Hmm. Yeah. We'll also get better astral orbs and stuff. The question is, who do we kick? We kick him? And nothing else, yeah. Nothing else. We keep the Heimerdinger here. Because this guy is giving us AP. She has, she rolled some good items here. QSS and AP is really good. I'm gonna really give all the items to Aurelian Soul here. Uh, Hand of Justice is amazing on him. The lifesteal is absolutely amazing. It's a very nice item. Not as good as Gunblade, but it's good enough. The, the Dragon Griefed. He didn't focus my Nami. So we win this. Nice, man. Mages are so strong. Jesus. I didn't even play that well. <laughs> We're still doing really well, man. <laughs> yeah, it's gonna be a magey, magey patch, guys. A little bit of a magical patch, if I may say so. As this is the best I can get, by far. But it's a Yasu, so I think people will take it away. Um, this is also really good. Ionic Spark. Oh, lucky I got it. He didn't drift properly. He could have gotten it. If he drifted better, he could have gotten it. Blue buff Aurelian Soul would have been good too, yeah. But um, this is perfectly fine. Because this reduces magic resistance. Okay, so here I think we just send it. Oh yeah, we didn't have room for any other items, right? We have to, we had the mage emblem. Okay, it's good I got a tank item. Holy moly, bro. Alright. Let's see what happens. This should be really strong. He's gonna cast a big star instantly, and they're gonna take increased damage. 20% increased damage to everybody that gets hit. Boom! Everybody gets hit almost. And he casts twice, so everybody got the increased damage. Look, we just wiped him. It's the ghost though, so they take a little bit less, uh, they, they're a little- Oh no, it's not the ghost, he just got blown up. <laughs> it's not the ghost, guys. Um, please, please, si uh, Silas. <coughs> please, Silas, bro. Please, Silas. Guys, it's not so disgusting, like, he didn't- It's not, it's not, it's not really- Oh, it is or uh, never mind. Okay, maybe it is disgusting. Maybe it is disgusting. Ah, it's not Silas. See, now the shop changed to a silver shop. You see? It's a silver astral shop now. Uh, I'm, I'm giving up on the Eloy 2 star. Eh, uh, 3 star, right? It's, it's very late game already. Wait, so this is the first game trying mages and it's really that strong already? Really? You take damage for losing as ghosts, because that's kind of toxic. No, you don't. You don't, of course. <coughs> That'd be very stupid. Oh, I didn't see Siat Shroud. Oh, Shivana was buffed. I'm not sure if it's enough. But you don't go tank items, you go full AP items. Look, look how... 
I'm just glad Zaya is not... I'm just glad he... he guys, I, I really hate Zaya, man. <laughs> I'm really glad she's hopefully falling out of the meta. Okay, the Varus player. And this guy has a very uh, unique setup here, right? Uh, it's a very interesting setup. It's like Dragon Man with a little bit of Jade. Okay, cool. Oh, okay, nice. Three star rise. Now, just the Silas remaining, and we will start getting Zoe's, guys. Let's see if I can hit nine mages. I know I can't use the Aurelian Soul then, but I am very happy to kick him away for three mages, guys. That is too cool. Uh, for nine mages. That is too cool. With the buffed Zoe. That is extremely cool. Mm hmm. Mm. Don't need anything here. We're good. Uh, Reroll this. <laughs> whoops. Uh, whoops. I'm sorry. Actually, not that good of an item on the girl, right? On the Zoe. We just give it to Rise. I feel like I'm not sure I'm even going to be able to level up here. At this point. Uh, the Aurelian Soul is really sick, man. Maybe we don't even try Zoe, man. Maybe we don't even try Zoe. Who cares about Zoe, man? I'm just going to sell the Zoe for economy. How does that sound? We sell Zoe's for economy. <clears throat> ah, but there's the, there's this guy again. We can go mage uh, him again. It's pretty good. It's pretty good, guys. It's pretty good. Nami Gunblade? Um, probably on Rise. No cap. Even if he doesn't cast much, he's gonna deal more damage, but I'm not sure. It, it would be good on her. It would be good on her. Ah, but we don't we don't need guys listen man you gotta think with a youtube brain let's think with the youtube brain are people gonna click on aurelian soul mage rework aurelian soul hell yeah and then i can save the zoe for a next video we don't need to show both in one game are you crazy bro we don't need to show both bro <laughs> what's wrong with y'all man Come on, guys. Gotta think about the YouTube brain. <clears throat> Selling a lowly for economy, Kappa. <laughs> uh, that guy's strong, though. We can lose to him. I think it would be smart to level up, though, because we can still put the Zoe in. <laughs> right? Guys, we can still put a two-star Zoe in. We don't need to go nine mages. We can have eight mages and still put her in. If you catch my drift, guys. Um, I think I'm good though. Let's see. <clears throat> Nine mages. I mean, I'm good, right? Uh, my Aurelian soul gets one shot though. I have to position him differently. Wait, I'm still- I'm very close to winning. It's just Aurelian Soul gets one shot. We're level 9 now. <clears throat> uh, just go for the 2-star Zoe, right? Yeah. We get 2-star Zoe now. We do get the power right now. There we go, even though she has a garbage item, it doesn't matter. Okay, so we need to hit Aurelian Soul 2. If we hit Hecarim 2 first, I am gonna pivot, guys. I'll keep it a full stack right now. We need to we need to go into the other corner, basically. That's how he survives. There we go. This is how he survives. Uh, he put it in the other corner as well, but I think it's still gonna go this way. And I still hit the damage increase. Yeah, 
Now he... Oh, but he kills the Nami. That's actually pretty bad for me. But we're still pretty okay, I think. Yeah. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. He's dead. Jump. Okie dokie. Guys, what about Mage Yasuo, though? We can agree on Mage Yasuo. Do we agree on Mage Yasuo, guys? Can we agree on that? Guys, I think we agree on Mage Yasuo, alright? Did he put the dragon here? Yeah. I'm not sure how the dragon will react though. Is he gonna go this way or this way? Honestly, I'm not sure what's even better for him because I hit the damage increase. Even if my dra- Ah, oh, nice. The Vladimir baited it. Ah, uh, Vladimir was well positioned here. I think I win anyway, guys. Oh well, guess we'll never see the Mage Yasu now. Guess that's gonna be the next video where you'll have to click again. Subscribe ring notification bell. If you enjoy these beautiful TFT videos, that way it's gonna be easier to find the Meiji Asu video afterwards. Also, make sure to leave an algorithmic comment and an algorithmic like down below to support his video in the YouTube algorithm. And I will see you next time. Peace!